Okay, they've come to the lab with uh, the impression that it's beaded and not. And we're going to pour it. So I have my equipment here, my armamentarium. I have a rubber bowl. I have a spatula. Yeah, I have a rubber bowl, flexible rubber bowl. I have a spatula. And of course, I have my wax knife. You can also see here. We have a vibrating unit, vibrator unit, which is useful for removing the air bubbles from the stone. So we're going to work at this and you can see how the stone is going to be poured. Let me just get some water and then some sift some stone to the water. So I've come in with my water and my powder. Powder is stone, dental stone. This is type 3 dental stone. Dental stone, as you know, is alpha hemihydrate, and so the particles are crystalline, therefore you need less water to mix the dental stone. Water powder ratio of dental stone is 28 to 32, that's the range. So that means that you need 28 ml of water to mix in 100 grams of powder. That means you need less water and more powder. So I'm going to use, I'm going to sift this in, as you can see very clearly. I'm going to sift it in, into the powder. I'm sorry, into the water. You want to put the powder into the area where this has water, not on top of the old powder. So, you put it on top of the water. As you can see, there is some powder remaining on top. I still want to continue to put powder onto the water. Yeah. Okay. Now that I can see that the powder is remaining on top and mixed, this is the point at which I want to mix it. Okay. So I'm mixing it. I'm going to pick it up and you want to start mixing. till you get a smooth creamy mix yeah mix it a bit more so you mix it a bit more okay you don't want it to be runny you want it to be more like a dough a oh, little bit of thinner mix. I'm gonna go to your go to your vibrator. I place it there and turn the vibrator on. You wanna hold it down till the end of this come out. It's gonna show you. See the air bubbles coming out. See the air bubbles coming out. Yeah, it's a bit. It's 
almost airbubble free. It's almost airbubble free. Now you want to pour in your impression. As you pour in the impression also you can use the vibrator very gently at low speed. Let's turn on this. Go down to the lower speed there. I'm just keeping my hand on. I'm not placing the the actual impression on it, I'm just holding it in my hand, so my hand is vibrating. You can see the water inside vibrating a bit. And then I want to go from one side, going from my side there. So that it flows. See how it's flowing? I'm going to allow it to flow. It's removing the water along with it and the air along with it as it's flowing. Removing all the water, you can see the water going away. See that all the air and water is being removed. I want you to see that what's touching it, touching the vibrator is my hand. I have just kept the vibrator on in my hand. Okay. Now, if you want, you can place it, but it will jump a lot if you do that. So I don't want to do that. Once this is done, I off the vibrator. If I want to add some more, I can add it directly. see yeah put it all the way to the top of my impression and that's it and then leave it to rest I leave it to rest this is where your handles your legs come in handy they rest straight so if it's tilted material tends to flow out so you want to rest straight thank you